Hello, hello, hello. My name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute RV Convos. Follow along with me as I hit the road to have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Amazing audience, it's 12 Minute Convos face to face again. Uh, with us, I have a special guest. Uh, we are in downtown Orlando, and his name is Cut DeVore. Right, he was episode 1699. Right, <laughs> yes, so def- no special. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Uh, what we start covering is uh, Scott's own unique real situation in terms of updating us uh, from where we last spoke. Like, uh, what are you doing now? Real estate, licensed contractor. What are you doing now? What's going on? How is life? Yeah, life is good. Appreciate good seeing you in person. Man. <laughs> I love the hat too. Thank you. I need to get my own brand apparel. Uh, so, uh, like Angel said, I'm a licensed real estate um, agent, licensed uh, general contractor. So I have my own construction management firm. Uh, we basically uh, renovate homes, re- residential, commercial. I also moonlight as a HGTV wannabe star. I do a home house renovations. I do a lot of I do a lot of other business too. So my main pursuit really is to uh, create passive income streams, and I do other traditional business, uh, you know, to, to kind of do that. I uh, was a corporate uh, person for 15 years, and then coming up on my three-year anniversary of quitting my full-time job. So I'm kind of excited about that. So what, some, what month is that? In? Uh, July 10th. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, July 10th, 2015. Living in Los Angeles, uh, working in healthcare. Uh, and um, just had this calling that there was something greater for me yes. and I decided to uh, pursue entrepreneurship full time after doing it as a side hustle for many, many years. That's good. So coming up on the three year mark and uh, That's good. excited about, you know, the next three years. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. So do tell us uh, what, uh, you know, the struggle, right? Your own unique real shoes is what we'll be touching on now, right? Uh, yours, right? Uh, many people see the shoes you wear and they aren't aware of uh, the struggle or the challenges. Uh, share with us like, what are some of the challenges that led to this place for you to be able to say, hey, you know, July 10th, I'm celebrating, right? Entrepreneurship. What are some struggles? Yeah, the struggles that got me to make the decision or the struggles I've experienced? Experience. I think like sometimes in life, some people do not have the opportunity to know or see or hear of the struggles that right. we, we go through as entrepreneurs to get to where we are. So I think, um, you know, maybe I have a work brain, but I actually see struggles as telling you signs that you're doing something good, that you're on the right track. Not that I want to go through the struggles, but, you know, I'm a spiritual person, I'm a man of faith, and I believe that, you know, the struggles help you grow as a person, and it hasn't been easy by any means, and I'm still nowhere near, you know, hitting the goals that I want, but um, I just felt like, you know, God put something in me to kind of pursue this path, and it's hard to explain to people who aren't like-minded, who don't think like an entrepreneur like me, but um, I would say, um, you know, you hear like someone's a jack of all trades, master of none. I've like I've done so many different things, which you know is a blessing and it also is a curse because anytime I see a business, I'm like I get excited. About it. I'm like that makes so much sense. Like that's that that yeah. that's something I should like consider doing. And so I've explored lots of different types of businesses. And so you know maybe I do you know fall on not being focused enough at times on certain things. But you know the way I see it in the end is. You know, I, my path is probably different than other people, even though I do traditional type business with construction real estate. But you know, my whole mindset going into entrepreneurship was to create um, passive income streams. So then, if one industry kind of you know hits you know, um, struggles or whatever, because you know, real estate and construction are two, it definitely struggle. Is that I you know diversify myself in other areas where I'm not really taking a hit. things have been good but you know obviously not hitting the 
animals like you always want to like you know just like anybody is you know there's you know there's a reason for this I, I kind of attribute that to if I had an easy road you know I wouldn't be the person I am you know maybe I would think oh it's all me like Scott's the one who's like created all the success where you see a lot of successful people you know I'm not trying to judge other people who are all you know all too we successful see it yeah, yeah and it's like okay you know but you know me just being the spiritual person I am and the faith I have you know I feel like uh, you know, I probably if I didn't go through struggle I probably would have been dumb and thought you know yeah, I was like special yeah. and it's really not so I give all my you know, all the crazy words and my Definitely be taking a picture of this guy's shoes. We'll be sharing that. Oh man, <laughs> these are like these are like um, from makeup Marshalls yeah. like store. Right. So like it's the designer stuff that's like twenty five percent the cost good. of what you get it. You're good. Yeah, my probably my whole outfit is from there. <laughs> You're good. I had a um, who got it? He's good. Yeah, I had like a custom custom clothes guy. Um, I don't know if they have those in Trinidad, but the guy a friend referred him because that's like their business is referrals. Right. So he was like, kind of like, um, basically asked me questions to see if I would be his type of like, client. Yeah. He was like, well, where do you shop at? I'm like, you know, I'm, you know, I shop at Marshalls. And, right. You know, and so then, you, didn't play you right. know, I guess he thought maybe I should meet up with him. Yeah. And then he told me the price of a custom suit was like, 50% off was like $3,000, which might be cheap, but I'm like, I can get in a custom, like, color suit.
So I try to diversify my clientele from investors to, you know, just residential or homeowners who have more money to spend, who care more about the quality, you know, versus the, um, you know, the budget and things like that. So those are, those are definitely the clients I prefer over the others. In closing, is there anything you'd like to share with everyone that's listening? Yeah, well, I would just say, um, you know, I'm just, you know, I, I feel like I have to say this because of like where God has led me, you know, so take it, take it with a grain of salt if you're not, you know, the same mindset, but um, I just believe if you, whatever you do, you just put it in the hands, you know, which is, you know, like for me, I humble myself at the feet of my Lord and Savior and I just ask him to give me direction, um, you know, I, I, I just love entrepreneurship and I'm like, you know, just trying to seek you know, his wisdom and guidance and how he wants to use me in this industry. And I would say anything you want to do, whether it's in business or in your job or you know, whatever it is, uh, just humble yourself and just, you know, seek your, your Heavenly Father and see where he wants to lead you in that pursuit of his dreams and goals that you have. Okay. Scott, my friend, it's been a great pleasure. When you heard that this guy is coming to meet you from the Caribbean, uh, what were your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was excited, my man. Yeah. Like I said, uh, you know, for, for what you, for doing that, um, you know, I definitely wanted to make it a priority yeah. to, to meet you. Yeah. So I just really appreciate um, your journey because it's so inspirational. I'm not just saying that. Yeah. I just love this. I remember just a short story uh, before, what, what kind of took me over the edge from going from corporate job to entrepreneurship. Um, a lady I worked with, I don't know if I shared this story before, but a lady I worked with in HR, she, um, her husband, they had like a little franchise wine shop where they did paintings. And, um, you know, just a franchise you can buy, nothing, you know, you know, too crazy as far as business. And it was growing so well that um, she had to quit her job to support her husband. And I just got, I just felt this joy that, you know, someone took the chance to pursue a business and just growing so much. And, um, you know, and I just, I guess I just love entrepreneurship. I just love what you're doing. Making the rounds here and knowing the people, and you just have a, you have a great following. So, definitely, I love your message and what you're doing. Yeah. I'm just excited to have the opportunity to meet. I appreciate you, champion. Yeah. Scott yeah. DeVore, folks. Yeah. yeah, Scott DeVore, check me out. <laughs> if you're in the Jacksonville, Central Florida area or wherever, love to meet up with you. Thanks. Boom.